alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and I am back in Ohio filming videos at my parents' house and you guys may recognize this background from when I filmed over summer so it's lit. Also I'm with, uh, I have umbrella lights instead of my ring light and I'm not used to this. The quality is so much worse than the ring light and I was really used to that at this point so yeah but you guys know what I actually finally bought Final Cut Pro to edit with so I don't know when this video will be up because I have to learn how to use the entire program and I just figured out how to work iMovie. I am that person who will not upgrade their phone like the iOS update whatever because I know that it's just gonna be different and I don't like change so it's gonna take me a while. I watched like a two hour tutorial last night on how to use Final Cut Pro and I'm still confused so this should be interesting when it comes to editing, but whatever. We're just gonna get into the video. Today I'm going to be talking about some things that annoy me, piss me off, my biggest pet peeves in life, and I feel so strongly about this, so hopefully this should be entertaining. I'm gonna get kind of like ranty. This is something I'm asked in every single Q&A that I do on this channel. You guys are like, Allie, what are your biggest pet peeves? And I'm just like, I don't know. I have too many of them. I better make a separate video. So that's what we're gonna do today. These are in no particular order, but basically what it comes down to is if I were to live with someone, like have a roommate, and they did any of these things, I would probably end up killing them. Like they make me so mad. So the first one we're gonna talk about today is when I am speaking and somebody points out something completely having nothing to do with what I'm talking about, like having to do with my physical appearance, I said that really weird. Okay, let's say I'm having a conversation with a friend. I'm just like, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it's their turn to respond to what I said and like acknowledge that they heard me and like give me some advice or whatever. And they're just like, yeah, so uh, what kind of lipstick do you use? Yeah, um, you should blend your eyeshadow more. I literally want to kill people who do that. I think it's so disrespectful. Like, can you at least like acknowledge that you heard everything I just said? Like, it has nothing to do with anything I was just talking about. I don't know why that makes me so mad, to be honest. It just does. And... I'm just super bothered by it, clearly. My second pet peeve, when people look at my phone while I'm texting on purpose or when they look at my paper while I'm writing. For example, I have this one class in college and I write in a planner every single day. I write down if I need to do laundry, homework, video ideas, just like pretty much everything I need to do throughout my day to like keep it organized. And there's this girl in my class every single day. She looks over, over my shoulder at everything I'm writing and it's just like, can you not? How nosy are you? It's literally gotten to the point where I've stacked things on top of each other to make it blatantly obvious I don't want her to look. And it's not like I have anything to hide. Same with my phone. But it's just so unnecessary. Like, whatever I'm doing is private. Like, it's none of your business. When people complain about things continuously that are in their power to change, and I get that everyone does this occasionally, myself included, like, we all have bad days. But when people are just like, I hate my job, I hate my boyfriend, I'm doing so bad in school, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, a year later, they're still working at the same place, they're still dating the same person, they're still complaining about the same things, about how little money you make, how your diet's so bad, whatever it is. Like, just, that's up to you to change it. Like, go to the gym, eat a banana, I don't know what to tell you. I'm so sick of people complaining about things that, like, they're putting themselves in those situations. Like, they could leave the job if they wanted to, but they're, do they really want to, though? Because they're still there. If you don't like something about your life, you have to change it. That is the motto. If I'm unhappy with something, I will make an effort to fix that thing or get rid of it or whatever is necessary so I'm happy again in that area in my life. So everybody else in their right minds would have quit their job, left their cheating ass boyfriend, actually showed up for class and made an effort to, like, do well in the class or whatever it is that you're unhappy with instead of just sitting there and being negative and taking all your negativity out on everybody else and making everybody else feel like shit because they're doing well in their lives with their classes or their job or their boyfriend or whatever it is it just makes me so mad like you are so selfish that you have to take out your anger with yourself on everybody else and act like you are just at such a lower advantage with what you're doing when really you're not making any efforts to change. That is the definition of insanity when you expect something different to happen when you are doing nothing different. I just totally butchered that definition, but like, come on, you know what I'm saying. People who ask questions and then interrogate the answers. For example, someone comes up and asks me something that has nothing to do with me in the first place, or it's like a rumor or whatever, and I tell them like, oh, it's not true, like, blah, 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 and I go on to talk about it, even though it's none of their business in the first place, and they go, oh, yeah? Well, then how come Susie said that you did this? And blah, 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 and I'm just like, well, Susie was misinformed. I don't know what to tell you. And they keep asking you questions. They continue to ask you the same questions you've already answered for them, when literally you should just be like, bye, get out of here. It's none of your business. So it'll get to that point with me if 
someone's being like that, they're being pushy and they keep asking me questions I have already answered continuously. Like, why are you still here? You can leave now. I already answered. I already told you that didn't happen or it happened like this. If you don't want to believe me, that's fine. But don't sit here and accuse me of being a liar or give me this attitude like, but, oh, really? Is that what happened? When you're still standing here and you're still asking for my side of the story and I've already told you, I don't know if this is making any sense to you guys, but I've seen this happen in so many different situations, not just with me. Like, I'll be with a friend and someone will come up and ask them about something that's really none of their business. It's just rude to ask them in the first place. And they answer and the person is still being extremely rude asking them about it and just obviously not believing whatever they have to say and it's like you are free to go like I don't know what to tell you I only know how to answer your questions one specific way I'm not lying I don't even know you get out of here it's none of your business another thing I hate huge pet peeve when people get involved in other people's business or they're like instigators like they want to stir up the drama and those people who get other people involved like if they're in a relationship and they're constantly venting to other people and telling everyone else about like things in the relationship that should be kept private they're just as bad as the person who's like getting in the middle, if that makes sense. I can't stand when people do that. Another pet peeve, when people ask questions that I don't know the answer to over and over and over and they almost get mad as if you're trying to withhold information like, What happens at the end of the movie? I don't know, John. This is my first time seeing the movie. Just like you, I have no idea. But does she die? Like, what, what happens at the end of the movie? I don't know. This is my first time seeing the movie. Or they ask you about things that have nothing to do with you, like, concerning two other people, and almost like they're trying to put you in the middle of it and, like, get you involved, and you're like, I wasn't even there. I don't know, John. Like, stop asking stupid questions. Like, you can go ask the people who actually were there. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know. I wasn't there. I really hope I'm not crazy and that you guys understand what I'm trying to say right now. When you catch somebody lying and they try to play stupid or act like you're crazy for believing whatever was said about them or try to justify it as if whatever they did was okay. For example, babe, who's this girl on Instagram? I have no idea. I've never seen her before in my life. Then why do you follow her on Instagram if you've never seen her before in your life? Obviously, it's just a glitch in the system or something. I would never lie to you. If you don't know her, then why do you comment on all of her Instagram pictures? I already told you. I would never lie to you. You're crazy. How can you even accuse me of that? What is wrong with you? Obviously, you probably went my Instagram yourself and commented that just to make me look bad because you're out to get me. Everyone's out to get me. Or... Babe, I only hooked up with her because in my dream, you cheated on me. When people enter a room and then leave without closing the door, especially if you explicitly ask them to close the door, it's so annoying, especially when I'm laying down and I'm comfortable and my mom comes in and I'm like, hey mom, will you please close the door? And she's like, sure honey, and leaves it open a tiny crack to where someone could just touch it and it would like open all the way back up. Then you have no privacy. And I just, I can't stand when people do that. That's just like a little pet peeve I'm gonna throw in there. Also, when people leave the water running, when they're brushing their teeth. We are in a drought in California. I don't know about everywhere else around the world, but even if we weren't in a drought, I just don't like that we're wasting so much water by doing that. Like we could be drinking that water. We could be bathing with that water. I mean, we're still using up the water, I guess. So that doesn't make any sense. But the point is, that's so unnecessary. I get that you want to wet your toothbrush, but you don't need to have it on the entire time. You're supposed to brush your teeth for, what, two minutes, three minutes while reading your ABCs and your, oh, that's when you wash your hands, just kidding reading the ABCs, reciting the ABCs, reciting the alphabet in your head, whatever. You're supposed to brush your teeth for like three minutes and that's just like a lot of water that like you don't need to have running while you're not even using it, so yeah. When people only acknowledge or respond slash answer to the last part of a text, for example, I know you went out to dinner with that girl and you ordered a steak with a Diet Coke. I didn't even get a Diet Coke though. Like, bro, like I don't care what kind of soda you got. I was referring to the girl that you went out on a dinner date with, like, come on. That's like a really extreme example but also if you're trying to make plans with a friend that's really frustrating when they're just like only responding to like the last part of whatever you said and you're like yo i'm trying to meet up though another thing clingy friends friends who cannot respect that i'm busy and the friends who respect this are the friends that i still have around to this day because i appreciate that so much i'm a full-time youtuber student and you now are plus i have to eat shower sleep and like kind of have a social life once in a while if i can't respond to your text immediately I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I, I also realize that I am very bad at responding. Like sometimes I completely forget, but that's okay. You can double text me. It's fine. But I'm talking about people who get mad or people who get salty when I can't respond immediately. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know why you were under the impression that I was at your beckoning call because I'm not. People who freak out because I couldn't respond fast enough. Like, what are you doing? Like, you need to freaking chill. Please, with all due respect, take a chill pill because I will get back to you when I can. Okay, this one may be a little bit specific to me because I'm a YouTuber, but when people ask me for shout outs or free promo or to do business together or whatever, when really it's only benefiting them, like they don't have a platform, 
I don't know if people understand how disrespectful that is. Like, if you're a really good friend, that's one thing you may just not understand. Like, that's kind of rude, and like, I might still want to shout you out or whatever. But like, I've learned through doing YouTube, you can't do that for everyone. It's just like, you can't be doing that. And people will just be so quick to take advantage of you and use you because you have followers. And it really, really bothers me. I've had people that I didn't even know that well in high school, like, hit me up just because they see that I have a channel or whatever. And it's just like, I don't even know you. I don't even know what the hell you're doing. I'm not just going to promote whatever it is that you're doing just because you asked me to. Like, I don't know anything about it. You haven't even started up your clothing brand. You don't have any followers. You don't even have merchandise, but you want me to shout you out. Like, I don't think so. I'd rather have my followers trust me. Thanks. And people get mad. Like, you would be surprised. People have gotten so mad at me because I've said no. I'm like, if you're going to pay them or you're going to offer them something where it's like equal, like, that's one thing. But when you're just saying like, hey, you should shout out my t-shirts I'm making with my homies. Hey, shout out my band. Hey, you should shout out my SoundCloud because I make dope music and rap. I'm gonna stop talking about this, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by giving it a like. Also, comment below if you could relate with any of these or if you want me to make more videos like this because it's kind of fun to rant and just like get all my anger out there, like off my chest, you know? Also, thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for 70,000 subscribers. Like, I can't even believe I'm saying that right now. I honestly never thought that this channel would surpass 100. Like, not even 100k, like 100. So the fact that I'm saying 70k right now blows my mind and I genuinely could not do this without every single one of you. This is making me emotional even talking about right now, but I'm gonna do a giveaway really soon for you guys because you are all amazing and it just means the world. Thank you so much for your support. If you are new and you wanna subscribe, be sure to hit subscribe below, you know, that'd be really awesome. We'd love to have you as a part of our Gator family. Also, hit the bell, please. I keep wanting to say Taco Bell. Hit the Taco Bell right next to the subscription button because that way you get notifications and YouTube has been messing up and nobody has been notified for like anything. That's why all the YouTube views are down, including PewDiePie. Like, literally Literally, PewDiePie. Did I just pronounce that wrong? Literally everyone the views are down because nobody's getting notified. So like go ahead and do that because that'd be awesome and I'd really appreciate it. Also, my social media will be linked if you guys want to hit me up on there because I am really active with DMs and group chats and liking your guys' pictures and following and retweeting or whatever. Like I do as much as I can on there. I'm super duper active. So yeah, you guys can go ahead if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, all getters. Bye.